Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Whether you are live or watching the replay in this video, I'm going to take a few minutes and talk about the importance of a professional carry packet. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. First, if we never met before, my name is Craig. I'm the creator and admin of Freight Brokers and Truck Drivers Facebook group. I've worked on all sides of the industry over the years as a shipper, broker, and a carrier, but mainly I help people and businesses become successful by finding operational areas of improvement, recommend effective business procedures, and provide a better understanding of what each side looks for to maximize potential. Now, you may be wondering, does the look of my carrier packet actually matter? In short, yes, and here's why. When you send a carrier packet to a shipper or broker, it generally means you are getting set up as a new vendor for that company. Imagine connecting with a shipper and they ask you to send over your packet to get set up and you send over five or six different PDFs or screenshots of each required document individually or worse, send over outdated information. And wouldn't it make a good first impression, right? It doesn't. Honestly, I never realized the importance of a professional carrier packet until I started setting up larger carriers who had outstanding organized packets. Even if you're a one-man band or have a small operation, conduct business like the bigger guys and set up a professional carry packet. Trust me, decision makers will notice. Here's the steps to a great packet. Besides the cover sheet, in my opinion, there is no particular order to a packet. I just usually start with a cover sheet and end with the reference page and put the rest in the middle. So I guess the first page, the cover sheet. On the cover sheet, put your name, you know, your logo at the top, list all your company information, your MC, DOT, your SCAC if you have one, uh, your registered address and phone number on file with the FMCSA, and boom, you have a cover sheet. Next, add your authority document. If you have a bad copy, or you took a picture and uploaded it, make a better copy. Use a scanner that generally works best. The page after that, you can include your W-9. Make sure this is completed with the registered information on file with the FMCSA. This is very important, and if you're not sure what information is actually registered with the FMCSA, check a safer website. Next, Include your certificate of liability. This is that document that says A cord in the top left hand corner. Keep in mind, this is just a your information only as your broker or shipper may require the certificate to be sent directly from your agent. Your agent should be familiar with this and most of the time brokers receive it right away from them. The next page I'm gonna talk about is optional because oftentimes it's asked in the uh, packet when you're getting set up with a shipper or broker, but I like to include it and I look for it when I set up carriers. This is the service offered page. This is the best place to list all of your equipment, all of your services in the lanes you run. Next one, if you use a factoring company, include your NOA. That's a notice of assignment. I believe factoring companies usually send it out to the brokers once you get set up but always include this in a way in your packet if you factor. This makes it easy and lessens the chances of payment delays at the time of billing. Lastly, your reference. Include a reference sheet with the top three or four customers you use. If you are a new carrier, this is extremely important as your references may help a shipper decide to use you, even if you're rated as a new authority. So as we mentioned, the contents of a great packet, in my opinion, is a cover sheet, the authority document, your W-9 with all your registered information, a copy of insurance, your notice of assignment or NOA if you have one, your service offered page if you'd like to include that, and lastly, your reference sheet. Remember, if you update your information, change your insurance, your address or phone number or email, Update your packet. If you're looking to revamp your carrier packet to stand out amongst mega carriers, reach out to me here or find me in my Facebook group, Freight Brokers and Truck Drivers. Thank you.